Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Cruz and this is my senior moment. I've been at Dairy Field for the past seven years and in that time, as cheesy as it may sound, I've grown to view the school as my second home and it may even tie for first. We joke around about the school's core values, you know, the ones that used to appear on the maroon rubber bracelets that we all used to collect, but rarely do we ever take time to think about them. When I reflect on my time at Dairy Field, and my message for current and future students, these six terms really encompass my thoughts. Aim high, balance, character, community, families, and individuality. Aim high. When I first came to Dairy Field, I was the type of student that teachers resented. Every single report card read, she is so smart and would do so well if only she applied herself. I thought I was a genius because I realized that I could manage to get B's without completing any of my homework on time. I came up with excuses which my teachers were not oblivious to. I remember a day that I was late to geometry class because all of my books fell out of my locker. When I showed up, my classmates were silent and appeared to be taking a quiz. I was completely unaware that we had a quiz that day, but I usually never was. So I sat down, accepted the paper from Mr. Brandt, and worked on the problems. I didn't recognize the subject matter and was pretty much winging it, but still nothing seemed out of the ordinary for me. I just thought I must have spaced out during class for too long one day. I handed in my quiz and after that Mr. Brandt asked, hey, do you guys have your flash drives with your projects on them for me? Immediately I panicked. I was bad, but usually I knew about projects and assignments, even if I didn't hand them in on time. I heard one of my classmates tell him that they had already emailed it, so I just piggybacked on that and said the same. All of a sudden, the entire class burst out laughing. Turns out there was no project, and the quiz I had taken was for a different math class. Needless to say, Mr. Brandt definitely looked out for my excuses after that. As much of a mess as I was, I always found a way to get by so that I was doing fine, because I was happy with just doing fine. What I didn't understand at the time is that I was lowballing myself. I was content with reaching my minimum amount of potential. Luckily, my teachers weren't ready to settle. Throughout my freshman and sophomore year, my teachers challenged me to expect more from myself. They encouraged me towards taking accelerated classes, checked in with me outside of in class to ensure that I wasn't falling behind, and didn't accept my procrastination and excuses. Alongside this encouragement, I learned how to view my work differently in order to find something that I was really interested in to study, which in my case was a feminist view. As a result, my junior year, my junior year I was an entirely different student. I studied hard, I did my work on time, I stayed after class, and I challenged myself to reach new highs. I set my sight on my dream school, and even, th even though it seemed like a reach at the time. Because Dairyfield taught me how to aim high, I now have the freedom to go to the college I love knowing that I will do better than fine. Balance. Dairyfield helped me realize that the three main components of my day, my academics, my extracurriculars, and my social life, are, are interconnected. The time I spend with my teammates falls under sports and social life, and the leadership and communication skills required on the field carry into my academics. I joined Model UN, created a gender equality club, and wrote some articles for Lamplighter, which all helped with my academics. I also joined Spirit Club and realized that watching other sports games gave me better field vision, which improved my skills in field hockey. Then, when I started caring more about my classes, I made friends friends inside of class that I probably wouldn't have gotten to as, clo as close to otherwise, diversifying my social life. I've learned that every part of my day ties together and a diverse life leads to improvement throughout each area. Character. To me, a Dairyfield student is kind. They respect their peers and their teachers, treating others with compassion and integrity. I know I'm not the only one who used to gossip or talk about other people in ways that I shouldn't have. However, once I realized why I was doing it, I made a point of stopping. The things I talked about had no impact on me and no influence on my life, yet I let it consume my time because, frankly, I was bored and everyone else seemed to be doing it. If you have nothing better to do than talk about other people, then you need to change something in your life. There isn't room for that at Dairyfield. We should occupy, occupy our time with things that truly interest us and develop our character. It makes us happier as individuals and our school happier as a whole. Dairyfield students build each other up. We seek to lift the community and maintain the morality within our halls. We recognize and celebrate the strengths in others and view success with admiration, not envy. 
That is the character of people who come out of Dairyfield. Community. If I could define our, define our school in one word, this would be it. I think the explanation was best stated by my, by my advisor, Pook, when he told me the reasons why he teaches at Dairyfield. He recalled a talent show where one of the younger students was brave enough to go on stage and play the violin. He said the student wasn't that great. In fact, they kind of butchered the entire performance. But what amazed him was that after they finished, every single audience member, students, teachers, parents, and alumni, stood up and gave them a standing ovation because we support each other. I've seen the support in this community too many times to count. Whether it's shown by the whole school with the senior class college process or on an individual basis where people just check in with others who look like they may not be having that great of a day. I myself have received so much support from my classmates, teammates, and most importantly, teachers. Although I can't give you all the extensive thank yous you deserve right now, I want to thank Puck, Mathis, Mrs. Spiegel, Ms. Perkins, Mr. McNeil, and Senorita Lucidian for always checking in and helping me out when I needed it the most. Families. My parents did not grow up with the same opportunities that I have now, and I'm only able to attend the school because they made my education their number one priority in life. Without my parents, there would be no dairy field for me. In return, the school recognizes the importance of family, and I'm able to come home every night to my dog and my parents, and sometimes even my sister. I'm able to show them the work I get to do at school, and they're able to come to my events like field hockey games and acapella concerts. I get to talk to my dad about my shush assignments and read my English book out loud to my mom in the car. Together, we get to experience the rewards of my hard work, which would not be possible without theirs. I'm also comforted in knowing that once I'm in college, there will always be a place for my parents at Dairyfield. Last, but definitely not least, is individuality. It's been a long journey for me to figure out how to just be myself. It took joining clubs because I was truly interested, not because my friends had joined. It took trying out for sports that I'd never played before. I had to go on some school trips that changed me through cultural exposure, exposure and sweat lodges and night walks. And yes, I was able to do all of this because of Dairyfield. But the greatest thing Dairyfield has done to help me develop my indiv individuality is introduce me to the beautifully unique friends that I have who are unashamed to be themselves. Friends who want to spend their time climbing and playing band hero and having blow dart fights. Friends who eat raw pasta while coloring in their coloring books. Friends who like to ride bikes at night, whether it be in the freezing cold here or in Florida or in Jamaica. Friends who don't care what other people think and are so loyal, it's almost scary. Friends who make me step outside of my comfort zone sometimes and have given me the best memories. Friends that I know will last a lifetime. For those of you who have some time left here, try to take these values to heart. Make Dairyfield an even greater place and don't settle for anything less. Aim high, maintain balance, strengthen your character, build our community, Thank your family and be yourself. And for the seniors, don't undervalue the time we spent here and how changed we are coming out of it. Dairyfield has prepared us to be great college students, but more importantly, great people. Thank you.